Hey everybody, it's Blue the Prairie Dog here, your host with the most. Alright, so this is Let's Play Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo's Dungeon. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, as we start, I'm going to open a bottle of uh, green tea. There we go. Checking files. So. That was my first run through of the game. If I'm right, that is 35 hours, 49 minutes, and 34 seconds. Or I could be wrong. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh huh. I was level 61. Okay. Let's get started, shall we? Uh, yes, I am going to be playing with that. So... Yeah, we're starting a new Let's Play. Ah, here we go. Opening cutscenes. That's Sid, of course, and Chocobo. Uh, I always found it funny. He's a Chocobo, yet he doesn't have a name of his own. So he's just called Chocobo. I'm like, what the heck? He's like a hero. He saves the world several times over. He doesn't get a name of his own? What the heck? Uh, I guess that's a. Uh, Sid's, uh, grandpa, I guess. So we're gonna start this off in the Tower in the Sands. Kind of reminds me of Avatar, you know, The Last Airbender, not the horrible M. Night Shyamalan movie or that overrated, uh, movie by that one guy who did the Titanic. Here we are, Chocobo. The Tower in the Sands. Thanks for repeating the obvious, Sid. He does that a lot. People treat Chocobo like he's stupid. He's not. He's a smart bird. Joke for the Let's Play. Chocobo, destroyer of worlds. Seriously, he is. Trust me, you'll see. So, it's a jewel called Timeless Power. I never understood why it was named that. And I suspect that it's going to be the key to building that airship. Yeah, they're trying to build an airship. Just imagine, Chocobo. Once we get our hands on this jewel. And did I just state the obvious? We might be able to fly through the skies. Mm-hmm. It's Chocobo's dream to be able to fly, just like black chocobos. Except I just stated the obvious and you should already figure that out by now. Ugh. See? That reaction alone tells you his greatest dream. <laughs> I'm excited too, but keep it cool. We still have to be careful in here. Yeah. Let's go, shall we? It's off to another adventure. He never goes through another dungeon again. Chocobo does all the work. Sorry, folks. It's just so frustrating. One of the... Okay, there's like three Chocobo's Dungeon games. This one on the Wii. One on... And two on the PlayStation 1, I think. The first one was never brought to America. Never localized. No, his hunger meter is at a hundred percent. He's not hungry. Fat little. <laughs> okay. I 
already know this stuff. You move around with the D-pad. Uh, two is your action button. One is your canceling button. Or in dungeons, it allows you to see the grid. And A brings up your menu. So yeah. Anyway, like I was saying, there was two on the PlayStation 1. The first one was never localized. So when the second one came, it was like, wh when was their first one? But in the second one, you had a partner with you all the time in the dungeons, unless they got killed. You know, KO'd. But no. Chocobo goes through dungeons alone in this one. So it's like, why Sid ever thinks... Yeah, talons and saddle are equipment. Talons are like weapons and saddles are like armor. That's why this game has the trope continuing is painful listed on its TV Tropes page. Luckily enough. Yes. No, no it's not. We gotta keep going, you moron. It's never always on the first floor, you idiot. I guess we gotta equip these. First off, shake the Wii remote to make sure all your items are sorted properly. And with the two buttons, select an item, and then of course you get an options menu for each item. So we'll equip it. And we'll equip this one too. Trust me, you'll wanna equip. Okay, so the talents show up on Chocobo in this game. In the, the previous game, they never showed up on him, but they always broke, trust me, it was just annoying. But the talents show up in this game, but not the saddle, which is kind of sad. Another thing is that saddles weren't in the previous game, so... So when your hunger meter gets to about 50%, you'll want to eat some food. Just saying. Just to make sure you guys know. This isn't a walkthrough, this is a let's play, but still, I like to give advice. <sighs> Traps are annoying. It's kind of hard to when later in the games they're so invisible and like, especially around the stairs, you go straight for the stairs, wham, trap, usually it teleports you somewhere too. Yeah, he just talks about diagonal movement. It's pretty... It's pretty easy in this game. In the previous game it wasn't because of the PS3, um, PS2's D-pad. PS1's controller's D-pad. Yeah, just got teleported. Invisible trap. Yeah, this is... Yeah. Thanks, Sid, again, for stating the obvious. So, one space away from us, so... Kick. Let him come to you, and you hit him. There you go. You always want to try to do that. You should make sure that you get the first hit. Gotta be careful about those things, trust me. Uh oh. Actually, it is later on. You're okay to battle two to one, but 
For right now, yes. Follow Sid's advice. Now that he's one away. Huh, that was lucky. Two criticals in one. Uh, before we go there, get that potion. Because you're going to need it. And once again, make sure everything is sorted out. Now, when stairs have that aura over them, that usually means on the next floor is a boss. So, uh, you want to make sure you have everything you need. So, yeah. Once you do, go on in. Ah. Yeah. So, so it's talking about abilities, which is here in the menu. Basically, each job has a certain amount of abilities that they learn through each job level up. And by job level up, I mean job levels up. Not Chocobo, the job. Chocobo levels up separately from the job, so yeah. So for natural Chocobo, you get all sorts of neutral uh, aligned techniques that are usually attack based, but I may be wrong. I'm totally wrong, probably. So, show off the ability. That does some pretty heavy damage. And that's a level up. So let me show you. See where it says next job level? 189 job points away? That's the job level. Job natural level 1. So Chocobo is level 2. His job level is 1. Go down the stairs. It is a dungeon after all. In games, dungeons are filled with monsters. Come on, Sid. You should know this. You got dang slave driver. Shut up about your got dang treasure. Stupid Sid. Okay, I guess this is Where another cutscene starts up. Ooh. Stop. <laughs> well, there you are. My this is Irma and Volg. Irma. As you can tell, Could this be the they're the rival the characters. Oh. Oh shit. And just like that, they get sucked away by a weird vortex thingy. Gonna take a drink here while this is playing. Much. 